thousands in Gaza are suffering from what the UN is calling massive famine. And it's not just Gaza. Sudan is also gripped by famine. And these crises raise a terrible but timely question. What happens to the body during starvation? If you're not eating enough, we've evolved mechanisms for how to stay alive. We basically eat our own body. It unfolds in five overlapping stages. Stage one, the body turns to its stores of carbohydrates, the most accessible energy source. And it's actually something all of us do as we sleep after dinner, only we typically eat in the morning. Stage two, once carbs run low, the body switches to fat for fuel and sugar levels in our bloodstream decrease. This causes symptoms like dizziness and fatigue. Stage three, the liver starts converting fat into ketones. That's emergency fuel for the brain. This makes some people feel mentally clear despite their hunger, but weight loss still continues. Stage four, the body goes into low power mode, metabolism, heart rate, and hormones drop, and people move less. Stage five is the final attempt to survive. Once all the fat stores are gone, the body starts breaking down muscle, even the heart. The immune system weakens, the skin thins, and the eyes sink. Without intervention, common causes of death include infection or cardiac arrest. And the treatment, it's simple. It's food and water. In kids with severe forms of malnutrition, that refeeding has to be done slowly to avoid dangerous electrolyte imbalances. But in Gaza and other regions, even that basic help is out of reach.